through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Drop it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows it frastic. I get drastic. Hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 156. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're going to do our DVD rundown for June 5th. Oh yes. The Cinco de... <laughs> no, just the first the first full week of June. Okay. We'll just go with that. <laughs> I, I was trying to come up with some clever... I, nope. I, I'm terrible with languages. Yeah, and, and June June doesn't... Does June even really have that many holidays, if any? I don't know. Um. Yeah, not really. So good. Anyway, it's uh, it's kind of an interesting day, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, you got got uh, some big block... Big films, not uh -huh. necessarily yeah. blockbusters yeah. from yeah. this year. You got some Aww. good series. <laughs> you got some uh, classic stuff mm -hmm. coming out, and we're going to cover mm -hmm. all that. Yeah. The first one we're going to talk about is the first, or <sighs> would have been possibly one of the first yeah. blockbusters of the year, which was John Carter. Yeah, probably in sadly. the biggest flop of the year. Yeah. Sadly. Pour one out for that. <sighs> or, I don't know. Battleship's going to give it a run for its money. Taylor yeah. Kitsch. But it didn't have as as Battle. high of a of a budget with all the marketing that they put into John Carter and everything. I don't know. Battleship was all over. Yeah, but it was Taylor, all the Taylor, end. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor Kitsch is yeah. having a bad year. Let's just yeah. leave it at that. Yeah. Uh, but so, John Carter, an, a remarkably average to not bad movie that yeah, had it was, a horrible was, marketing campaign that was very expensive. It, it, so they, I mean, it's it was. It, I thought it was a decent movie. I think it would have been a tough sell, and the amount of money that was put into it was probably yeah. too much for yeah. what the film was. Yeah. If they had made it cheaper, it probably I would agree. have been more doable. But it was. Yeah. It was. It was. I still thought it was pretty good. But you got a a great addition coming yeah. out of it. You got the four disc combo, which includes the Blu-ray 3D, mm -hmm. the Blu-ray, mm -hmm. the DVD, and the digital copy, which covers you for yeah. Probably any which way but loose. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, in, in terms of um, extra features, you got, you know, uh, deleted scenes with optional commentary by Andrew Stanton, mm -hmm. audio commentary with the filmmakers, a hundred years in the making, looking back at John Carter. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, Barsom bloopers, as they call it. <laughs> Smoothie bloopers. Uh, uh, 360 degrees of John Carter, sort of taking a look at everything nice. there. And, uh, you know, Disney's second screen, which... I don't know what that is, but it sounds Neither intriguing. Andrew Sam was really excited about the movie, so I bet a lot of his commentaries will at least be interesting and uplifting. He's even. such a good director, too. Yeah. I mean, Wally. Let's just yeah. leave it at that. Boom. Yeah. Drop that. Yeah. Mike goes down. Walk away. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> just back out of the room. <laughs> I'm a huge Andrew Sam fan. I, mm -hmm. I, I hope this really doesn't hurt him going forward because he's really talented. Yeah. But it did a lot better internationally than it did here. But it has such, you know, when you have a bar set that high, that's just it's, a, it's a lot of money to yeah. put into. You're really setting film. yourself up for uh, asking a lot out of your audience, just as a baseline to even break even. So, yeah. so. anyway, moving to the realm of uh, oh, television, yes. one of the my favorite current television series that's mm -hmm. going yeah. on ongoing yeah. current television series yes. maybe one of my favorite of all time as well breaking bad season four yes. is coming out this is the penultimate is that correct? penultimate season yes. of the show yes it would be technically with season five coming out mm -hmm. soon i mean i know uh, they're filming it I, now yeah i think it comes out later this month to be honest really either later this month or early next month wow. is when the first half because the second uh, the fifth season's being split into two sons of bitches two arcs the first one starts either later this month or later uh, or early july cool it's it's a great show if you oh, haven't yeah. watching it i mean fourth sort of season Woo! takes an interesting look at you know <laughs> drugs season. and science and mm -hmm. it's it's one of the, i mean brian cranston has got to be one of the best actors currently yes. working at this point and the increasingly complicated tale of walter white yeah i mean if the dude, if the dude needs to like move into the film because i just want to get uh -huh. some an academy award for yeah. something like yeah, he's just he'll get it fast like i'm sure you know, golden globes and all that stuff uh -huh. well and good but like academy award yeah. is what this guy needs definitely so uh, in terms of the release, it's got, you know, uncensored episodes, which, Ooh. if you know the show, that sounds wow. really intriguing. <laughs> uh, deleted and extended scenes, mm -hmm. cast and crew commentaries on all 13 episodes. Wow. It's got uh, 30 featurettes, which <laughs> probably are small little things, but yeah, 30 but is still, a lot. And considering some of the weird things they do behind the scenes. Yeah. Um, and one of the interesting things that might make you want to get the Blu-rays if you have a Blu-ray Blu player is they have 13 video podcasts with a total runtime of more than two hours. Dang. So that sounds wow. pretty interesting yeah. to me. Uh, there's a, additional stuff, but it's, it's such a good television show mm -hmm. and such a good package. It seems yeah. like a, a slam dunk. The only thing I wish it did was, uh, I believe it was True Blood mm. with the digital uh, yes. and... Um, I think they did, did they do Blu-ray, digital, and or, or was it just Blu-ray and digital? 
So I think yeah. they need the digital copies included at the yeah. very least. But if you could do the Blu-ray and DVD, I don't know how complicated that would be, but it'd be cool. Yeah, I'm not sure with AMC. AMC has a lot of their stuff streaming sometimes like they did with The Walking Dead. That's true. Stuff, so it's not like it should be hard for them. to. That's true. But at the very least, the digital one would be nice. Yes. Anyway, it's an awesome show, an awesome yeah, package. I'm just always happy whenever a show that's out comes out on DVD. Seriously. That means the next season's usually soon to follow. Yeah, Eminem. And this, this show is yeah. one of the most intense ones on television so if you yes. you haven't checked it out now is a great time to get ramped Very up good before time. the final season mm -hmm. begins or part one of the final season yes, begins the first half the final one that we're talking about is a classic one mm -hmm. we're talking the three stooges ultimate <laughs> collection <laughs> yeah. Yeah. for those who have been collecting three stooges thus far this mm. is kind of a shit deal honestly okay. because the ultimate collection collects volumes one through eight that okay. have been previously released so if you've got <laughs> okay. any of those it's not necessarily how many have been out like 10 eight. Oh, okay eight. So, yeah no. <laughs> good this I'm, i would be great one through nine are out but you get one through eight in this package that would be yeah that would be, that, a total that would dick be a screw. Move. so that it would can, be something harvey Weinstein but it contains all 190 shorts wow so that's that tells you how prolific they were wow Additionally, though, you also get the feature bonus. This is the bonus part that they include okay. for those who already own that. But supposedly they're releasing this separately at some point so as well. So you could buy just so it, as a companion it, piece? Yeah, if you already okay. own volumes 1 through 8 or Got something it. like that. But they're they're releasing bonus feature films, Rockin' in the Rockies and Have Rocket Will Travel, hmm. as well as the 28 solo Columbia shorts, um, which were about, you know, like, uh, was it Shemp Howard, Joe Besser, wow. and Joe Dorita, as well as a trio of vintage cartoons featuring huh. the team. So. That is a pretty compact deal right yeah. there. It's it's, that is it's a lot of stuff. Twenty discs. Should note though, the one thing it does, wow. or the the things that it does not include, are Shemp's first solo Columbia short, mm. "Not Guilty Enough," um, and Besser's "Cuca Rancho." Hmm. So, but three things missing. Three things. That's two a, things. Two things. Okay. Oh, yeah. sorry. Two. Two, two things. things. That's not a. That's not bad. It makes you wonder why they can't get those two things, but it's if you're a Stooge fan and you don't have any of this stuff mm -hmm. thus far, it's pretty pretty good deal. Yeah, and, definitely. Uh, that wraps yeah. it up for this week. Yes, it does. Uh, stick with us tomorrow for uh, time travel movies. Or for yesterday. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, in honor of safety not guaranteed, we're going to be talking time travel. Finally getting its limited release outside yeah. of the film festival Finally, circuit. finally. And, yeah, I'll just, I'll just praise it some more mm -hmm. as I have been mm -hmm. thus far. We'll do that tomorrow. Or yesterday. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, we're done with that <laughs> yeah. gag. That's over. Anyway, let us know your feedback about the DVDs uh, for today mm -hmm. or time travel or any of that sort of stuff at yeah. MacGuffinPodcast.com, Twitter.com slash MacGuffinCast, Facebook.com slash MacGuffinPodcast. Yes. Phone number, 323-761-9842. iTunes, Roku, Miro, mm -hmm. uh, Blip, yep. all those good places. Check in at Get Glue, and we Please will do. see you next time. Magneto can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. This type don't even try to bite the side of Mr. Spock can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. The board can't stop me, I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.